Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between. Welcome to my presentation. Today I'm going to be showing you why I consider Gundam to be one of the most popular mecha franchise to date. Don't save any questions till the end, and well, let's get on. First, I'm going to be talking to you. What is a mecha? Well, a mecha is a mechanical robot that a human pilots. Now, a mecha could range from a tank with arms to a full-scale giant ro bipedal robot. Now, Gundam uses a bipedal robot form. It's shaped like a human. And this was one of the design choices because they just wanted to make it look like humans nowadays. Now I'm going to be talking to you about why and how Gundam was created. Gundam was created by y Yoshi Yuki Tomino, who was the original animator of Gundam and was responsible for all of the designs. Kunio Okawara is the person who made the idea in 1979, or when Gundam was officially created. He wanted to create a... a real robot franchise, as he called it. He wanted the heroes to have destructible mobile suits, things that could be destroyed, and the villains to be tough instead of the unsubable heroes and the dispensable villains, shall we say. This was very popular because it was something different. And even now, when there are loads of real robot mecha franchises out there, this is considered one of the most popular and is still considered the best real robot mecha franchise. The impact of Gundam, the impact Gundam had on the world. The Gundam series became popular by the Mobile Suit Gundam anime series, the first series to come out. And this was very popular in Japan, but suddenly it spread to other parts of the country, mainly America, who started producing other series like New Mobile Report, Gundam Wing, and etc. From 1979 to the early 2000s, when they, when, so from 1979 when it began, and to the 2000s, Gundam had made over 5 billion US dollars. Now this was quite a lot of money at the time, for seemingly a cartoon or an anime series. This made way to a live action because people saw a very popular idea. And this live action film was called G Savior. That was produced near to the 20th anniversary that Gundam came out. Gundam also appeared in the big box office hit Ready Player One, which is very surprising. And it fought the legendary idea, Mecha Godzilla. This was very unique because Mecha Godzilla's legendary, it's very famous. So for a Japan series that's a mecha to appear right next to it would be very unusual for the time. But most of the popularity wasn't from the series, it was from the line of model kits they produced, which were called Gunpla. Gunpla standed for Gundam Plastic Model Kits, and essentially it was a plastic jigsaw that you put together to create your favourite robot. Now this was very popular and made the most money because the fans of Gundam enjoyed the series, but they wanted to experience and hold their favourite mechas in real life. 
So this allowed them to have a fun building experience whilst also having their actual favourite robot in their shelves or hands to pose or play with. On the screen now you will see one Gundam to the to my right and to its right would be a, a version of the runners. The runners are what holds the pieces that you need to cut out with nippers or pliers. Then you would need to clean up any marks and put the person together. And once you've done that, you will get the example shown on my right. And that, and that concludes my, my presentation. Now, are there any questions? Good.